Hey, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Well, this is Penny's hot, or um, Ginger's hot mess. I'll tell you what, I, they, Vanessa said, and I agree, they did not look this big until we set them on the table. Um, we almost decided to do them on the floor, but we decided to try it. So I'm bracing them all in because they're like everywhere. Um, there's nine of these little guys. They are all sold. These are miniature schnauzers. And this is Ginger's litter. Uh, eyes are open, which you can tell. Uh, this is a <laughs> this is a total hot mess. <laughs> uh, they are going to be three weeks old in two days. So Thursday on the 12th, they will be three weeks old. Oh my gosh, people, can you just chill out? <laughs> uh, they are just like they're a hot mess. If they settle down here in a minute, we will go ahead and try this. I know, can you go to sleep? There, find your hole and stop. I thought they'd all stop moving at some point. But no, they're just, it's constant motion. Uh, these guys all have their eyes open. Don't keep backing up. You're going towards the edge of the cliff. <laughs> Come on. All right, go over here and lay down. There you go. Good guys. Yeah, root under there and hide your face. They all want to hide their face is the problem. All right, we're getting it into a, a, a clump. So, <laughs> it's like herding cattle. You get them all on the fence. Uh, they're doing really good. They uh, are just, just with eyes open, they still have that little fear of where they are. This one says, I can't get my face in a good position to hide. You want to hide there? There you go. Are you okay? Oh my, another week and this will all be over with. They'll be used to their eyes, used to the different things. I know you're just really having a panic attack. Come over here, it'd be all right. Climb in here in the middle of the pile. There, that might help. There, now your face is buried. There we go, the tighter we squeeze them in here, the better they are. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what I'm gonna do, now somebody smells, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this may be a real hot mess before, <laughs> before we get done. Oh my goodness. All right, they've all quit moving. Okay, now I gotta peel them out one at a time to do this. Uh, so I'm gonna give you current weights. And um, they had a bath last week. You are hanging over. Um, so we'll probably one day this week give them a new bath. And we did toenails last week. We'll check toenails this week and see if they need it done again. Are you looking around? Good for you, that's awesome. Some of them are sound asleep, that's good. So we're gonna start over here on this side. And I did take pictures for you last week. I really apologize. We were so busy. We had like almost all of Patty's went home but one. All of Stella's went home but one. All of Roxy's went home but three. We have two left, Vanessa says. She just held up two fingers. So it was like unbelievably busy. Plus we had three litters of puppies last week. Uh, Diva has had her puppies, which she had nine poodle puppies, all Merle's but two. And uh, Abby had her puppies and um, Prissy delivered also. So it was just nuts. And we did not have any extra time to do videos or pictures. This is 5656. Don't push back any farther. I'm stopping you from falling off. This is a chocolate Merle. Let me make sure it's 5656 and not picking up somebody else's number. 5656 is his microchip. This is the boy. Yeah, this is the boy. And he's doing really good, except he's very upset once back in the pile. There, you're going to calm down. There you go. You're all right. You're okay. Yeah, you're all right. Let's turn you around. Coats on these guys are super nice. They're super thick. He says, this is not what I want to do at all, lady. No, it's not what I want to do. And their ears are open and eyes are open and they're, everybody's doing super good. Don't ask me what color eyes. I can tell you the Merles have a possibility of blue eyes. Oh my, shoot, my thing shut off. What else can go wrong? Okay, let's see. <laughs> the only thing I know is somebody fall off the table and I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, that's never happened yet. I suppose there's a first time, but I hope not. 
One pound, 15.2. You're a big chunk. You are a big chunk. He says, okay, let me go, lady. I'm going to do all the chocolate merles. I guess they're mostly chocolate merles, aren't they? Before we do the other colors. Are you back? Stick your head right there. Good choice. All right, your butt's hanging over, so I'm moving you. So this is a chocolate merle also. This is 56.59. This is a female. I'm positive. Uh, really pretty blaze. She has a really, really cute face. If she holds still for a second and doesn't keep panicking, let me get a hold of her feet. That'll help. She thinks she's falling. Nope, you're fine. You're fine. I love their coats, though. They're so soft. Such a pretty litter. Such a huge litter. Penny only had four the first time. This is her second litter. One pound, 10.8 as of today. Okay, you come right here. I gotta keep track of who I've done. All right, here you come, plowing in. Yep, plowing in. <laughs> so this is the white part. She's mostly white, but she's still a chocolate merle. Okay, stop, 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 stop. She's got, look at the coats on these. They're so rich and they're so soft. You have soft coats and it's been a, last week since you had your bath. Scoot up, there you go. Keep it in here where I can keep a hold of you. Now, can I turn you around for a minute and show them your face? She says, no, don't want to do that. There we go, for a second, she'll hold still, maybe for a second. Yep, now we're not gonna hold still anymore. But lovely coat, just lovely. I love these guys' coats. You're all right. They basically are gonna have what you call one pound 8.6, 8.8, okay, make sure. 8.8, .8. they're gonna have a mega coat. And people always say, what's a mega coat? Some schnauzers have very thin and wispy coats. Um, they're kind of sparse looking. They don't have that beautiful, lush, thick texture to them as they age. They stay kind of wiry, kind of thick. These guys aren't gonna be like that. This coat is huge. Um, it's gonna be a coat that combs out really easy. It doesn't mat very bad. Um, in fact, if you just even give it a once a week, if you let them grow out in like, well, I guess we call it a show cut or like that big lush coat, um, their leg hair will actually get long enough that it will uh, touch the ground if you let it go. Like the leg hair up on the top of its legs will keep growing the skirts will keep growing. So you have to decide what length you want this because their hair isn't like a German Shepherd or a Retriever that grows to a certain length and stops. This coat never stops. Um, it's like human hair. They shoved you clear up in the air, Munchkin. Um, so, but mega coats are awesome. They just are so nice to care for and to, to groom. They have shoved you clear up in the air, haven't they, little peewee? This is the little peewee. She is so cute. She's a chocolate merle. Her merling won't show up really a lot until you ever shave her down, and then her merling will stick out like crazy. She's got really pretty face, and she's really, she and the other little chocolate one in here are the littlest in the litter, but I love this size. They're so cute. They're just so cute. I know it. you're so cute. Can we turn around and see how much you weigh? I guess I could give you a chip number. Everybody can probably tell your puppy apart by now. Uh, but this is 5654. You're okay. You're okay. I know. All right, cover your eyes up. There you go. Calm down. Now you're okay. Now I'm going to freeze you off on this pan. And I'm going to not be nice and set you on this cold pan. One, two, three. You ready? Here we go. One pound, one ounce. Good girl, you've grown. Yes, you've grown. All right, let's see. We did you two, we did you, we did you. Okay, so we're gonna start on the chocolate and whites. Let's do the other little ones since we're doing little. I love this little one. It's so pretty with its definite dark chocolate. It's little tiny apple head. Such a cute baby. She said, oh, you woke me up. I love the socks. She's got great socks on the front. She's got socks on the back and white all the way up her legs to her belly. And she's got this massive white tuxedo chest and white all the way up her chin. I know. She almost has a full white collar like a Sheltie, but it stops over here. So not quite a full collar, but 
I know you're tiny too. Let's see which one of you two are the tiniest. Ah, uh, the other one's lower. No, you are 14.4. So this one's the littlest in the litter. Okay. So we did you, and we have all the other chocolate and whites to do. So let's start with you. We'll do the outside edge. Okay, all right, cover your face. Are you in there now? Okay, no, that's not good, is it? You, here, go underneath. There, go under there. Can you go? No. I know, but you'll be all right once you close your eyes. You really will be. And I don't have anything on my fingers to eat, Tootsie, sorry. This one is a female. Wait a minute, there's only one male in here. Okay, I don't, we'll just forget that. I'll quit saying male and female. Uh, beautiful coat, just awesome. I have no idea what that was. Awesome coat. And has really pretty markings. I like the saddle on the back. Equal on both sides. And microchip number is 5660. Can you hold it for them to see your face? She says, no, not really. There you go. Now you're going to hold still. Oh, you're still over here having a fit. Come on. One pound, 6.6 .6 today. Oh, you're going to crawl right on the top, aren't you? Yep. You're crawling right on the top. Are you happy up there? All right. This is the other one. This one looks just like the little teeny tiny one. Has the same partial collar. Has the same white legs. Where are you guys all at? Um, it's got white all the way up the back legs. White socks up the front. Okay. And uh, not much of a blaze, but got a little bit of a star left up here. And then, of course, we've got the big collar. And you're big. Yes, you're a big baby. And there's the back view. And there's the front view. Nope, you got to hold still. All right. Nope, you guys are just getting all out where I don't want you. Uh, we are 56, 57. Oh, okay, okay. All right. You're all right. You're better. Okay, here comes the cold pan. Heads up. One pound, 11.6. All right, I gotcha. There we go. You're all right. There, hide your face. Good baby. All right, so we did you. We did you. We haven't done you. All right, we're going to bother you a minute. Oh, I know what she says. Do you have to do this to me? All right, so this one is... Oh, your backside's about ready to go over again. 56.58. This will be the last week on the table, believe me. Uh, really nice markings on the back also. Really distinct markings across the back. 13. Has a nice face. Got to speed up here a little bit, people. All right, let's see what you have as far as a weight. She is one pound, 8.2. Vanessa told me we're running out of time. I think we're about done now. We only got one more down here to do. Okay, I gotta move you again. You worry me. You are clear out there to the front edge of my table. All right, so this one is, oh, this is one with a huge white collar. This one is 5662. Love the markings on the back. Really pretty face. I love the stripes. But boy, that collar is, that is flashy. You are super flashy. Even the black stripe or the white of the leg goes clear up in the back. All right, let's see what you weigh because Vanessa says we're running out of time. She is one pound, 12.6. She might be the biggest female. So there's her face if she'll hold still for a second. There you go. So that's the crew. What a hot mess. 14. And they're doing great. So if you have any questions about these guys, give me a call. I'm gonna make sure their go home date is on the website when I put their pictures on. So you can start calling in if you wanna book for puppy pickup. Call me if you have questions. Have a great day. We'll see you on the floor next week.